What up, YouTube? Anyways, okay. Um, sorry for my hair looking crazy. If you know me, you know I don't really do my hair unless it's necessary. Like, unless I'm going out or something. So, y'all gonna have to see this during this video. Anyways, so I've been doing some, like, some looks on, like, Instagram. Some makeup looks and... A couple of y'all were asking me to do like makeup tutorials and like make a YouTube video or like do an IGTV, but I'm gonna just do a YouTube video. I just feel like personally it's a little easier. And I feel like for the IGTV, I was gonna have to make a whole nother page because I don't want that to take up my main page, even though, yeah, whatever. I ain't even gonna go into all that. But so the look we're gonna do today, which I'm, I'm gonna put up so y'all can see how it looked. Um, it's kind of like a sunset look, but not really. I don't know. Y'all, that's for y'all to decide. I don't. To me, it's kind of sunset-ish, but not really. Um, but anyways, so I'm gonna put that up. And in the comments when I'm done, y'all gonna let me know if I did good or not. And y'all go ahead and like and subscribe for the video. And then if y'all want more videos, y'all can let me know in the comments if y'all want different like makeup videos you can let me know in the comments because i'm not going to do my foundation today but if y'all want to know how i do my foundation and stuff i'll make a video for that too but anyways so into what we gonna do today so i already picked out the palettes i'm gonna use which is this is one of them the 3503 this is by morphe Fierce by Nature. Um, this is a really cute palette. I suggest it if you like bright colors and nudes because it does have some really good ones. Like it has like a lot of nudes and bright colors. Like it's a good, it's a good genre of colors usually. Um, but we're gonna use the from here. I think we're gonna end up using um, we're gonna use the Ball of Fire. This one, this one right there. And then we're going to use, we're going to use the, uh, yeah, we're going to use the Unstoppable. Wait, wait. Unstoppable. Get down. So we're going to use those two. Yeah, we're going to use those two from this palette. And then the other palette we're using, the other palette we're going to use is the Jane Charles one. Um, I'm pretty sure everybody knows this palette because, yeah. I guess he be getting into drama. I don't watch his YouTube videos. I don't know him like that. But I just have his palette. So, yeah. Um, we're gonna be using B from this one for the yellow that we're gonna do because surprisingly this other palette doesn't have yellow, which I find very odd, but whatever. Um, so I would tell y'all the prices of these palettes, but personally, I don't know because I didn't buy them. But James Charles is pretty cheap, I think his is like 20 something like between the range of 20 and 30 dollars and then this um the 3503 fierce by nature palette i think it's like between like i think it's 32 to be honest which you can also always catch these on sale because morphe is always having a sale like they're usually having 50 percent off sale sales on brushes morphe is a really good brand and has really good prices if you ask me but anyways let's get into the makeup tutorial um so first i prime my eyes which i prime my eyes with my concealer because i don't i'm just now getting into this and i don't have like the because some people like if you look on instagram and like pictorials and stuff they'll have like regular concealer like your skin color for like your base to put your shadows on or they'll have the white base of like concealer well that's not concealer but it's like the white colored um base primer for eyeshadow i don't have that yet i'm looking to see like what brands are really good for that one because i don't want to just waste my money on like any brand and it kind of sucks so if y'all know any good brands for that y'all could let me know in the comments also but anyways so i use concealer it's the sephora brand it's like 12 to 15 dollars it's really cheap and it gets the job done so if you're looking for a concealer i suggest just go buy the sephora brand because it's cheap 
I don't care if it's generic. Y'all shouldn't care if it's generic. Because if it worked, then it worked. Okay? Anyways. So, I'm gonna get my mirror out, actually. Also, I have this lead light mirror. My brother bought it for me. Honey, for Christmas. It's called Reflections. It's, it's decent. It get the job done. The lead light really isn't that bright, but it does have a little stand. It's cute. See? A little pop. Mm -mm. It's cute. See? You got a little light. It's a little dirty. Don't mind that. But anyways, so I'm gonna actually put that like down here a little bit. But anyways, what I do is I put the concealer on my eyelids. I just do like three little dabs on each eyelid. I don't blend it out with this brush just because I feel like it gets really messy and you end up with extra concealer that you don't need. And since I used that concealer for my face and my eyelids, I'd rather not waste it since we are in quarantine. So there's no point in me wasting my concealer that I use for just about any and everything. So you're gonna blend out the concealer with this type of brush. This is like, this is a concealer brush actually, because these are the brushes that you use to do your eyebrows with when you conceal them, which by the way, I don't fill in my eyebrows. So if y'all want a video on that, I could probably do that for you because I know how to. But personally, I don't do it because I don't like the way it looks on me. Because I feel like my eyebrows are already really dark. So, if I do like fill them in, I usually just take a like black eyeshadow with one of the angled brushes. And then I just fill in my eyebrows that way. Because I don't feel the need to actually like do the gel eyebrow and make it all cute. Because my eyebrows are kind of already like that. Like, I have good eyebrows, so I don't really fill mine in. But if y'all want a video on that, y'all can also let me know. Totally up to you. So, that's all time to put the base on. So, we're first gonna go with the yellow in the inner corner of our eyes. So, we're gonna go with the B yellow. B yellow. So we're gonna put that in the inner corner of our eyes. Um I think I am gonna use this brush. So these are my two main brushes that I use. This one is to put the eyeshadow on and then I kind of like brush it out and blend it a little bit. But this is really my blending brush because it, it gets in the it get in the corners. You feel me? So, anyways. And sometimes if you don't have good like a good palette and you're just starting out, you can usually just spray your brush with like a setting spray if you have that and it'll pick up a decent amount of shadow for it to be seen. So you don't always need like a really good palette because I've done it plenty of times. So we're gonna put that in the inner corner right here. We're just gonna dab, 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 dab. First you want to dab and then you want to rub. And this isn't that bright so we're going to have to do a couple applications of it. But y'all see like the inner corner. Get a little more. Dab, dab and then blend out. We're going to have to do a lot of blending for this look by the way. Y'all are gonna get some good tips on the blend. So, we're gonna do that. Ah, uh, we might go in a little brighter. Cause then I'm gonna have to blend in the orange and the orange is gonna be super bright. So we want the yellow to be like on the same level of the orange. So to speak. Daddy, 
by the way, you're going to hear a lot of background sound. Because it's never that quiet. Especially if my big brother's here. But anyway, so I'll keep dabbing, blending, dabbing, blending. Okay. So now... And for this look, we are going to blend, like, all throughout. Like, there's no, like, certain crease color. Because the colors are going, like, one, two, three. So, we're just going to blend throughout all the way to the eyebrow, pretty much. On the inside corner. We might put a little highlighter on the inside corner for this look, to be honest. But. So, now, we're going to go with the orange. And the orange we're using is, hmm, let's see, which orange we should use. Let me see. Actually, I think we're going to do, so the orange I think I decided we're going to use is going to be Explode on the 3503 palette so this one is the one we're gonna use for the orange so I'm gonna take this brush again and usually like to wipe off the brushes like the excess color I kind of just rub it like rub it on my hand like I just the dish dish so So now this is going to be the mid section that we're doing. You gotta tap it because you don't want that excess shadow because then it falls on your face. So we're going to You want to put it mostly in the middle because in this corner right here we're gonna have the pink and I have a very small eyelid. Everything's really small on me, so I gotta be careful on the way we proportion. So now, as you see, it's not blended very well. So now we're gonna take the blending brush. And we're just gonna blend, blend. probably isn't as bright as it's gonna seem compared to the photo but that's because I don't really want it as bright and on top of that the concealer I'm using that's mostly why some of my looks don't look exactly the same and plus these aren't the exact colors from the picture I'm using so that's also part of it but if you do want to go brighter, you can always make it brighter. All you do is have to add some extra color. Like, I'm probably going to put a little bit more orange on there to make it a little brighter. Because when you blend it, it dulls out the color. So, you just want to dun, dun, dun. blend, 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 blend. And then I'm only going to do like step by step for this eye and then the other eye I'm going to go ahead and do a time lapse so this video isn't hella long because I know y'all do not want to watch a 30 minute makeup tutorial because I don't even like watching 30 minute makeup tutorials. I'd rather just look at pictures and try to recreate it on my own and that's what I've been doing for like literally everything. For like all the looks I do on Instagram, that's literally all I've been doing. It's just looking at them, finding the colors, and recreating them. Because I don't have the patience to like keep looking and watching tutorials. Not my cup of tea. Anyways, okay, so the pink we're going to use is actually... I think, yeah, we're going to use this pink. This pink is the Unstoppable. It's the same palette. This one right here, the unstoppable. So that's what we're gonna do. Outer corner. So we're just gonna 
dab this one a couple times because like I said, my eyelid is small. We ain't got a lot of room to work with. We gotta do as much blending and dabbing as we can. See, and I picked this pink because it wasn't too light because I didn't want it to look orange and it like super blend in. So this was a good option. Okay, so we're gonna blend this in real quick, the orange and the pink. And uh, since this look has a lower lash line, I'm going to do that and show you guys real quick how that looks. So, usually, if it's three colors like this and we have a lower lash line, I go from the outer color first. And I kind of just, like, swipe it in first. Look at that. I just and then I'll add the orange. And the yellow under. I kind of just try to blend it out. And for this one, I left more room for like my eyebrow because I'm actually gonna put highlighter there because I think it'll make the look look really good. To be honest, I feel like this pink might have been a little too bright, so we're gonna put some more orange on there. To make it look a little more orangey. Just gonna dab, 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 dab. Dab, dab, dab. Okay. Now blend. I'm just gonna blend those two in. And I'm gonna bring the camera closer so you guys can see the transition. Let me go ahead and do the last line of orange. And you kind of, for like the lower last line, you kind of want to put it close. Like to the colors. You'll be able to tell. It just makes it better for the lash line, if you ask me. I'm, just gonna... I'm not a big fan of lower lash lines, just because I feel like... Because personally, I put on eyeshadow first, and then... I put on my foundation because I don't want the eyeshadow to fall on my foundation and then I have to try to get these little pieces off my face. Just not a fan. So I do my eyeshadow first. But I don't like doing lash like lower lash lines before foundation because then when I do like conceal under my eyes, it, it becomes a thing where I kind of cover up the color and I gotta reapply. I don't like that. But we're not doing foundation today. Well, I don't know. We're not doing that video today, at least. I'm gonna take a little bit of yellow. I'm gonna go back in with the B. You're not really gonna see it, but it lightens up the colors the pink and the orange. I'm gonna put a little bit more yellow on the top too. Make it a little brighter. Yeah. Blend a little bit more. You're gonna keep switching back and forth between your like eyeshadow, like between your eyeshadow brushes. Because you want to make sure everything is blended really well. And blending, it gets, if you're impatient, you're going to get aggravated after a while. Because I had to turn, like, get some patience in order to blend. Because this stuff is no joke. So, here is the first eye. You can see the pink, the orange, and the yellow. If I had a lead light, this would look way better. I'm sorry for not being fully prepared, but yeah. And I take pictures and put on lashes, it'll look better, I promise. So, now we're gonna do the other eye. So guys, this is the look for both eyes. 
the last and final look as you can see they blended this eye might be a little bit more blended than this one so we're gonna try to fix that a little bit blend it a little bit anyways so this is the look without lashes i'm gonna put some lashes on because we all know lashes tie in the look of makeup and that's all period anyways um so i'm gonna put some lashes on and then y'all can tell me how it looked in the comments okay now listen i'm gonna show y'all how i put on my lashes okay but don't be talking about me because i understand it's not the most ethical way to put on lashes okay so yes i i use hair glue okay all my friends use hair glue so i learned to use hair glue so what i do oh wait hold on what i do to make sure i'm not wasting the hair glue is i do this i let it fall to the tip because i don't want to waste it because if i put some like if i pour some out it, it's too much and i'm wasting it so anyways i'm using these lashes i got these online but if you're looking so for some like real good lashes that also look natural shout out to my girl ari her store or her instagram page is called amor ari so on instagram it's at amor ari a m o u r a r e e she sells lashes lip gloss lash glue which i need to buy she sells a whole bunch of stuff so if you're looking for some cute lashes i suggest hers i haven't really tried anybody else's lashes except these ones i bought online because it was like a big packet for like twenty dollars I'm not wearing Ari's lashes because I lost hers, so I need to buy some more from her. I need to buy a lot of stuff from her because I need some real lash glue so I can stop using this. I need some real lash glue, I need some more lashes, and I need some lip gloss because I'm running out. So, y'all order from my girl Ari, and I'm going to keep ordering from her too. Okay, so what I do, I just, yes, I use a makeup brush. I put it inside of the cap, this cap, I put a little bit on the and then I rub it on the lash, okay? Usually I'm really good at putting on lashes, but I stopped being a crazy person and using my fingers to put on lashes, and I actually started using real tweezers to put them on. So I'm learning with the tweezers now, because I learned to do it with my fingers, but I'm trying to be more professional, you feel me? So, we're gonna, I use a mirror like this and put it under, because it makes it easier to see, like, your actual last line. So, I just, mm, set it, place it, push it, here we go with the fingers, y'all. And then, we want to make sure they're secure, Okay. You want to push it, pinch it as much as you can. I understand this is not the most ethical way to put on lashes, but this is my way. Everybody has their own way of putting on lashes. A lot of people wear individuals now, but mine's are too sensitive for individuals. So, falsies, it is. Yes, it is. So, there's one. You want to make sure it is on there securely because child my boyfriend makes sure my lashes are not falling off and if they are he makes sure to tell me to take them off because he don't be playing with me he don't even like makeup like that but he think i'm cute with and without it so i do it sometimes when we go on dates but not all the time i used to just put on lashes and some lip gloss and he's happy but we agreed i'm, I'm allowed to wear a little bit more makeup because it's cute according to him so i'm gonna take the other one and do the same exact thing so we are back with the final look with falsies so i think it looks pretty good y'all might not think it looks pretty good i don't know like i like it but like i don't like it I, but i feel like it's because i don't have foundation on and i'm used to doing like the whole like full face type of thing but i don't feel like doing that today because my pores need to breathe anyways so 
Jesus. Um, so if you liked this tutorial, let me know. Leave a comment down, subscribe, like the video. If y'all want more, let me know. And if you guys want a foundation video, I'll go ahead and do that for you. Just let me know if that's what y'all want. Hope y'all like the tutorial. See you later.